Welcome back YouTube fam to Average Guy DIY. And today on this episode of Explained, we're talking about how to install soffits and the mistakes to avoid. Stay tuned. So number one, right off the bat, there's two types of channels that you can purchase for the soffit to slide into. There's J channel and there's F channel. J channel is particularly used around windows and small accessories. And then there's F channel and F channel is really what you want when you're installing soffit. When I built my garage this summer, I made the mistake and purchased J channel instead of F channel and I had to return it and go back and get F channel. So I have a flash video, we're gonna jump right in and I'm gonna show you the gist of how that uh, the F channel should be installed and how it would kind of work on your structure. Okay, so we just have a 2D version of our structure. We have the truss coming down, the fascia board, and then we have the F channel uh, set up and ready to go. So the F channel obviously is installed upside down because it comes with these little tiny holes. So if you can see, these little holes are where you're gonna put the nails through. You do not have to use every single one. Most people use, they do one and then they skip three or four and then they do another one. And then next, you would install your soffit. So as you can see, the soffit is coming in. It would slide into the F channel groove and it looks like that. So our soffit interlocks, as you can see here. Uh, most all soffit you buy interlocks just like this. Okay, and that's what this thing is. It's just a different color so that you guys can uh, see it there. Then you'd put a nail right in the end. Bam! So that nail would go in the end right into the fascia. So this is where it's kind of tricky because if you do research online, it shows an F uh, channel set up on the left hand side and an F channel set up on the right hand side. You do not need to do that. As long as you measure and you level this and make sure it's nice and straight, all you need is the F channel set up on one corner and then nailed into the fascia on the other side there. After that, you would have your, this is called a drip cap. So the drip cap would get installed and we're assuming that obviously this structure is already wrapped um, with the waterproof wrapping. And then after the drip cap is installed, you'd have your shingles. So we're pretending that this is shingles, but this is what happens. So the water would just run off the shingle here and then it would go over the drip cap, okay? And then you would add your very last piece, which is the aluminum fascia. So as you can see, your aluminum fascia would slide over the nails that were uh, drilled in there. And the aluminum fascia would be nailed uh, into the side of this fascia here and uh, it covers everything here on this side. So this is, shows you that when you set up your soffit, which is here, you really only need uh, one F channel instead of two F channels. All right, and we'll go back real quick. So this is a picture of what the aluminum fascia would be, and that's that orange guy right here. So lastly, there's one more piece of important information that you need to know when it comes to installing uh, F channel and that's how to make the F channel intersect at the corners okay now there's many ways to do this but I'm just gonna show you the easiest way to do it uh, through this flash video so right off the bat you can see that this structure is not symmetrical but it's just to give you a gist of how the F channel should be set up on an intersection and this is one of the easiest ways so if we look here and we put the very first J channel up it slides into place like that. And you'll notice that you're gonna do one stretch here of a straight line and then at the corner you're gonna pull it up. So when you put the soffit on, the soffit itself is gonna curl up into the corner of the, the structure, okay? And then when you do the second piece, the second piece of F channel is gonna come straight across here and it's gonna butt up. So it's gonna butt up nice and close to this second piece here of that structure. And when you put the soffit in the channel and you nail it down to these fascia pieces, obviously as you can see this isn't, you know, symmetrical, but if you nail, when you nail it down to those fascia pieces, 
you barely will see any type of gap there and it will look very clean, very professional, and very flush. And I'll see if I can find a video real quick of uh, how mine was done. So I did find an old video and as you can see, the, the soffit looks very professional and I use this method that I explained to you guys today. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If so, make sure to hit that subscribe button and thanks so much for watching my channel here on Average Guy DIY.